Tonight, an Enterprise family says a big part of their family is missing after a loved one was killed in an ATV crash in Geneva County. WDHN's Robert Smith Jr. has the story all new at 6. The death of Jesse Howell, who was killed in an ATV accident one week ago, has left a huge gap in his family, especially for his mother and little sister. They say he had a huge personality. And it has broken our hearts beyond anything that we could speak words about. <clears throat> it's just very raw. Howell's mother says her son and his passenger Deja Mathis had almost made it home until their ATV crashed at the intersection of Highway 85 and County Road 45 in Bellwood shortly before midnight. The passenger was taken to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. Unfortunately, Howell didn't make it out of the crash alive. State troopers say the two were not wearing seatbelts. The vehicles that they were in, those buggies, um, they're not made for asphalt and they were driving it on asphalt. And I think that was the biggest mistake that they made. And yeah. they, there was also alcohol involved, which is really hard. But, you know, just the combination, you, you always think you're invincible until it happens. And it did that night. The family says to know Howell was an experience in itself. He was a family first man who loved children and very hardworking. He had a huge heart for people. An amazing tree trimmer. I mean, he he did some jobs that people tell me about that were just phenomenal. And he had his own business, and he'd been in business for many years. And he was he started it when he was in um, high school. He started working for a tree company in Louisiana. And the funny thing is, when he was a young child and a um, teenager, he was scared of heights. His mother says he loved being outside. He had a heart for animals as well. Lots of animals he brought home yeah. from the time he was a little kid. He was always bringing home strays. And I've, I've had multiple of them. Actually, I have three of them in my house now. Because of his love for animals, especially strays, his family is asking for donations in Howell's honor to the SOS Animal Shelter in Enterprise. In Enterprise, Robert Smith, WDHN News for the Wiregrass.